Hello, my name is Jill Wagner and I'm going to show you one of my favorite native Hawaiian plants. This plant, uh, the Hawaiian name is Puakala and the scientific name is Argimone Glauca and this is um, a native poppy. This poppy is endemic to Hawaii. It is unique to Hawaii and doesn't occur anywhere else in the world. So we know there are hundreds of poppies in the world and we can think of the California poppy as an orange poppy and there's a yellow Mexican poppy. This is the native poppy. It has a white flower and is a very wonderful poppy that grows in the dry forest. And sometimes you see it by roadsides, but it's part of the dry forest. Many poppies are medicinal, and this poppy was also used by Hawaiians as a medicine, and I want to show you um, how it was used. It does not contain morphine, but it has some medicine in the sap of the poppy. So this is the flower, a fully open flower, and here we have a, a bud, a flower bud. And after the flower is finished flowering and it's pollinated, um, by flies and bees and other insects, the petals fall off and it, it creates a pod. This is a pod. And this pod will produce a sap on the end of it, on the tip of the, the pod where it meets with the stem. This is a seed pod forming for the poppy. And what happens is this seed pod will when it's fully um, ripe, it'll, it'll turn brown and the seeds in there will mature. But if you, if you pick that pod, got to be careful because it has thorns. If you pick that pod before it is, uh, turns, goes ripe, it has a yellow sap and it's very fluorescent. That sap is a wonderful sap for skin issues. And you can use that for any kind of warts or skin wounds or any kind of fungus. It's wonderful, a wonderful medicine. Okay, I wanna show you this plant. This plant naturally comes and goes in the landscape it will grow and flower and seed like this plant full of seed, seed pods that are ripe and then it will die and babies will come up from the seed that it has expressed. These pods, I'm going to pop one off, these pods have seed inside that look like little balls. These are ripe seeds. You can germinate them just by throwing them out in the fields anywhere you'd like the poppy to grow, or you can pre-germinate them by putting them in hot water. If you boil water and then take it off the boil, you can put these seeds in overnight, and that will stimulate germination faster than just planting the seeds, because they can take up to eight months. These, this is a lovely poppy, native poppy, that can grow in the dry forest or anywhere from uh, the low elevation, 100 feet, all the way up to probably about 1,500 feet. And it's a wonderful native plant to add to your landscape.